Wools. Stamping and using stamps. Okay, this is the wall that we actually done the coping stones on. As you can see, they're all nice and solid now. Just we've got a nice flat edge there to work to. So the first thing we're going to do, okay, is that, well, first of all, okay, so we don't need a scratch coat, okay, like you can see by there, right, okay, put them all over the wall to show you what, what a scratch coat is, okay? okay so we don't, because we've got plenty of key here for our tree to stick to. So the first thing we're going to do, okay, is we're going to put a bonding adhesive over the wall. This can be put on with a roller, okay? I'm just going to roll it all over the wall. It's a good idea if you do big areas, this really isn't a very big area, is to just do sections of the wall, then move on, bond it again, then lay it on and stamp it and move your way down the wall. Because if this dries, you really need to put another coat on this part because it's a waste of material. So just do areas that you can cope with at the same time. Okay, now we've got the adhesive on the wall. You feel it's going really, really tacky for us, okay? What we're going to do again, okay, is we're going to put a tight coat onto the wall, okay? And what I mean by tight coat is a very, very thin skin all over the wall. Okay, once we've got our tight coat done, the stamp we're going to be using on this wall is our dry stack stamp. Now this stamp requires a 20 mil thickness on there, or two centimeters. The reason being, okay, because you can see the depth on the stamp there, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're just going to go ahead and lay two centimeters over what we put on there already, and we're going to show you how we stamp the wall. Okay, as you can see, you know, right, we've laid about 20 mil over the thickness of this wall because the, the stamp we're going to use is a 20 mil stamp. The next thing we're going to do now, okay, is we're going to put a texture to it, just by using a single mat. Okay? This is good, really, okay, because if you're not that clever at plastering and you can't get that 20 mil evenly all over the wall, this is going to get you into a lot of trouble because this is going to put a stone texture onto the wall for us. It takes literally minutes to do it, and it's got a really superb effect. So, first thing I'm going to do, with my release agent, I'm going to spray the stamp, and I'm going to give the wall a spray. A good indication of when the wall is ready to stamp, that if you touch it, nothing sticks to your fingers. If it's sticking to your fingers, it's a little bit too wet. So this is something I tested earlier on, it is ready to stamp. So I'm going to spray my stamp. And just lay it over the wall, just to give you a stone texture. You really don't want this to slide over the wall if you can possibly help it, because it'll spoil the effect. And as you can see straight away, we're getting a stone texture over the wall. Once we've got that section done and the stone texture all over the wall, we're going to use a mat, we're going to spray it up, give the wall a little dust in, okay, and we're going to start stamping the wall. As you know, we've got a nice straight line there, so we know our stamps in on the wall straight press all the time. We're going to start from the end over here, and just work our way across the wall. Another thing is do not let these stamps slide down the wall. Hold them in position, give it a little press in, take it off, and we're starting to create stones immediately. Get yourself a different set. This, this actually comes in a set of four. So you keep mixing and matching them all the time. Gonna come up to where we stamped last time, place it over where you can see the indentations are, and stamp it again. Don't let it slide, take it back off and we've got our stonework starting to come across the wall. We just work our way down the wall, and within 20 minutes, we've got ourselves a really nice stone wall. 
Because of the height from this wall, okay, it's not high enough to get two mats in. So what we put on the bottom one, just offer it into the bottom, okay? Press him in, okay, and bend him so he's not touching the other one, okay? Not touching where the last stump we put on. Take him away, okay? And if there's something there you don't like, you can use this little cutting tool, okay? And just touch the stones. I'll do it like, if we didn't like that as a big stone, okay? Say we didn't like that as a big stone, we make it into two, okay? Just make it into two little stones. So we can totally alter the shape of this wall just with a little tool like that. And by doing this, you will never ever see where the stumps have been. Although you'll get some stones that look the same, you can alter them with this. But it's a simple process, just to work your way through the wall, making a really nice stone wall.